I've got this Alfred Wallace briefcase in chestnut and brown and it looks and um and brass hardware and it just looks mint. On the inside it's got this beautiful blue suede, so it just uh goes really nice together, all 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 the colors you could see. Really cool. This is the shoulder strap on the outside. It's the same brown as the straps and the gusset and the top, the handle. It's a really nice color combination the way the, the um, brown and the chestnut go together on the, on the back. Nice. So this chestnut comes from uh, Wicked and Craig. It's English bridal leather and um, it's on the normal side of thickness. It's not heavy like some of my uh, uh, UK bridal leather that, that really gets heavy. This is a good manageable average weight for a briefcase, um, especially when it's lined in, in suede. Nice, I'd say about three pounds, if that, uh, with suede lining and um, a back newspaper pocket. So I think it handled weight very nicely. So let me tell you about this briefcase. It's um, double compartment, it's all hand stitched. It's, uh, it's got this, I guess a, a tan stitching sitting on the brown and then the chestnut. Another thing that just goes nice together. Um, brings out the stitching. It's, it doesn't, I could have blended the stitch in some other briefcases with the, the chestnut, especially with the, the brown. I blend the stitch so you um, you don't really see it as much, but I think the, the stitching just makes this briefcase. So I wanted uh, to bring it out. So it matches uh, the brass hardware and um, it just brings it out, brings out the, the stitching detail. It shows people that this is a hand-stitched briefcase, not some um, machine-stitched uh, case. So, all right, so you got double removable straps. These straps go all the way around, and they buckle in the front here, and they are removable if you needed to. The briefcase works just fine with just the center lock. If you wanted to take the straps off one day, I um, just wanted to start using it. it, it would be fun. You would just have these keeps right here, which uh, match the, the front plate anyway, so you probably wouldn't even uh, notice it. So you can take them off. But if you get a strap bag, it's because you like the strap, so I don't see you not using them. You can always keep them in these front keeps, just for an easy and a quicker access throughout your work day. And then maybe um, when you're done, you, put, you buckle them up. The, uh, the buckle straps are good if you want some sort of security, especially if you're in the city and you don't want anyone coming through the, the side door or not even if, it, if you're uh, commuting. Let's say you're in an, in an office. I get this all the time where I have lawyers that uh, leave their briefcases in an office or in a courtroom when they go on, uh, uh, on that break. And sure, they can lock it up and that's what that is for. But even with the lock, you might be able to just you know, pick the flap up, but um, with the with the buckles, just makes it a little bit harder. Sure, they're not permanently locked, the buckles, but the person who wants to um, look in, they would have to sit there and unbuckle it and, and then go in through the flap. But well, whatever, if anything, the, the majority of people that get a briefcase like this, it's because they like this English traditional schoolboy school style briefcase. That's really, I think, why they get it. I think everyone's got... Their own reasons but um, all right so you got the shoulder strap rings are on the top so this connects on the top and you're ready to go right on the, on the on the shoulder you can put it across the body and then that's that take this off you don't want to use this you want to use it like I love to use a briefcase by uh, by hand, it's fine. It's got a bar that's built in underneath that keeps it nice and stable. It's an aluminum bar that also um, is great on the weight. It's not as heavy, but it's still, still nice and strong. So if you want to get in it, let me tell you about the lock. The lock is what I call a Hampton clock lock. It sets like, a, it's a combination lock, it's a traditional combination lock, but instead of having three dials where you set the three numbers, it's just got, um, two dials, an hour, a small one, um, and a bigger one is for the minute. So you could set the, the combination to whatever you would want, five, 53. And that would be your combination. You would set the five, 
the smaller dial and then the 53, just like a clock on the, the bigger dial. It's really great. But um, if you don't want to use the combination clock, it always stays open if you if you keep it on its number and you just use that this bottom uh, knob right here to open and close it. Real simple. All right, so um, like I said, beautiful. You open this briefcase, that blue just pops. Um, it's just bright. When you look inside it, you can see everything. If you got a pen down there, that's one thing that I like about uh, lighter su suede lining is that when you open it up, you can see your things inside. If you have a darker uh, suede lining like black or, or the browns, the dark browns, it's hard to, to, to see things. Sure, it's not as, um, as open it and, and it doesn't pop like this, um, so I guess it, it's what you like. If you want to be more conservative, I would definitely get a darker color. If that doesn't matter and you just want some, just want it to brighten up, definitely the lighter colors like, like this blue it is just great. All right, so inside I have it, I have the edges lined in, um, in leather in the same brown as the gusset. And, um, and this briefcase right here has some custom pockets, but I normally just put standard pockets or if you have certain things that you want to carry, obviously I customize them as well. But here you go, you have your compartments, two main compartments. So... That's it. This is I call this style the Wallace style. I've been making it for a long time. It's a traditional classic style with straps and a center lock. Um, probably one of my oldest styles that I, I still make to this day. I have many variations of this. And, um, and that's it. Like I said, you want the easy way. Instead of putting them through the buckles, you just put them through these keeps right here. And um, and you're fine. So whatever you have inside of it, the way it the weight is distributed on the center lock. You don't really um, the the straps aren't really uh, needed for weight. If I didn't have the center lock and I just relied on the strap, yes, then you would have to buckle it. I have other briefcases that are just straps where you would have to definitely buckle it. You couldn't just keep it in the in the keeps like this. But this is just an easy way to get in and out. Um, like that and it still and it still looks nice you still see them you, you can barely tell they're in the keeps all right so this is the Wallace briefcase in chestnut and brown American bridal leather it's a little bit different the American version is a little bit drier and uh, normally it's cut a little bit thinner um, I would say a normal cut of a 4-4 briefcase um, usually when you see my uh, heavier briefcases it's it's made with that UK English bridal leather. It's probably um, double the thickness of this and, and weight. If I made this in a UK bridal leather, the weight would probably be about um, five pounds, five and a half pounds, especially if it's got the suede lining, um, maybe even more, maybe around that six pounds. So English bridal leather, um, American version, cut normal. And uh, when I say cut, I mean the thinness of, of this, this thinness, right? So this is two pieces uh, of, this is uh, the leather and the suede. I mean the, the thinness. 